some senator mentioned about the, the housing crisis. Well, I'd say in this, in this country at the moment, we have many forms of housing crisis. Now, this morning, uh, I intended to bring up under the order of business uh, homelessness uh, in the city of Dublin. And uh, on my way to work this morning, coming through Talbot Street onto O'Connell Street, Westmoreland Street, uh, Grafton Street, um, Molesworth Street, I counted seven homeless people uh, lying in doorways with rucksacks. I think that this is completely and utterly, in this day and age, unacceptable. I, um, I just, I, I had to empathise with the situation that they were in, having slept in sub-zero temperatures last night. I, I, you know, it's, this isn't an issue, Minister, as far as I can see, uh, in, or in rural parts of, of Ireland, but it seems to be a trend in the, in the cities. And to me, it's something that few people are talking about, and there are a few that are talking about it, but I don't see the, the leaders of our country talking about it. I, I know that the Taoiseach is committed to the abolition of the Shannon, but I don't see him committed to dealing with homelessness in this country. And I just think that down the road, we, have an, we, 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 we sampled it this week the, uh, in relation to the Magdalene Inquiry and uh, uh, the laundries. I mean, are we going to, in a number of years' time, have to look back and say that we actually, that we, we're... Uh, you know, guilty of a crime against our citizens for not dealing with homelessness. I simply cannot believe, with the amount of empty houses we have in this country, that we have so many people lying in doorways and we're unable to do anything about it. I know, uh, Minister, um, in relation to the, the bedsit issue that Senator Hayden mentioned, I remember back in the 80s being in Dublin and sharing a bedsit with a friend of mine, and in it was two single beds, a wardrobe and a cooker. And I know, I know that today, most people have on suites that were much bigger, you know. But um, I didn't remember when I moved to Balahadreen in the 90 and mid 80s, mid I couldn't get accommodation. There was no rental property in the town at all. And one person gave me a place. It had shutters on the windows, the floorboards were sagging like that, and there was mushrooms growing out of the ceiling and up out of the floor, you know. Now, in fairness, into the 90s, the, land, or the, the builders started providing housing. And that took an awful lot of pressure off the county councils at the time. And we moved on with more and more uh, bills coming on the stream to take the pressure off the county councils. But then we moved into the Celtic Tiger era, where we provided the country with far too many houses. And my own town is an example of that, Minister. We have well over 200 houses in the town that are empty. And in one case we have, I, I don't know whether to call a, a housing estate a ghost housing estate if there's 10 houses occupied out of 90. I, you know, I, I don't know what you refer that or refer to it as. But, but there's, there's 80, 80 houses of those 90 are all boarded up now. By who? I don't know. By the banks, by NAMA, we don't know. But uh, it's an absolute eyesore, Minister. And uh, really, we need to know... Um, we need to know what's going to happen with these houses. I know that in some cases though, those, uh, those houses have been stripped of all the copper, they've been stripped of all the wiring. They're really fit for nothing except knocking and, and they are a serious eyesore. Um, in relation to something that Senator Power said, I do totally agree. Again, landlords got sucked into this whole system you know, throughout the Celtic Tiger eras. And I, I suppose everybody and anybody couldn't see what was going to happen by way of a crash. Landlords went in there and bought properties that were overvalued. And I know some of them, and some of them are friends of mine as well, Senator, and I mean, they have five and six houses and they're not worth a third of the mortgage that they have on them. And most of them are unoccupied, they can't even rent them. And now they're being hit with uh, second home property tax, which is to be replaced by the, by the, um, the new property tax that's coming in the middle of the year. And to be honest, Minister, I know in my heart and soul that some of these landlords are on the point of being dri driven over the edge. And I have to sympathise with them to a large degree because they were the ones that provided accommodation for us when we, when we needed it for, um, for our people. In relation to antisocial behaviour, Minister, I had a reason with my own council some uh, months back to discuss an issue in relation to that. And I just found that the rules and regulations, if, they're to be if they are indeed accurate as to what I was told, I, I think are grossly wrong and unfair. If you have a family that by all standards are considered to be uh, 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 causing antisocial behaviour, 
And if they're not causing it in that estate, but if they're causing it in another estate, or if they're causing it in an, another town, and if they're, uh, if they're you know, they, they've been guilty of multiple arrests for everything and anything, and they can go into an adjacent estate and wreck it, but because they didn't do it in the estate that they're in, that they, that they live in, that the council said that they can't do anything about it. Now, I, I find that um, staggering. I think I have a minute left, uh, uh, Let's uh, go to my clock, uh, Senator. I, I've just yeah. handed it there myself. Yeah. And, and the previous 25 chair minutes, gave, Senator. Gave, gave a couple of senators two minutes extra. But but the, I mean, the leaders of the groups have extra time. I just, have just two final points, three final quick points to make. So, shared ownership, Minister. I told you about this before. The shared ownership scheme needs to be looked at because of the fact that as the, the mortgage part of the shared ownership goes down, the council's part and share of it goes up. And I know in one case, when the mortgage is paid off, the tenants are going to have to owe the council 35,000. I think we need to look at that, and I did make uh, a, a submission to Willie Penrose, uh, who, who was in your position beforehand. And uh, two quick points. Rent caps need to be looked at, Minister. I think they're all over the shop. If you uh, a rent cap for a scum in town where you can't get property for a single person is 69 euro, and the rent cap for rural county Galway just up the road is 104 euro out in the country. And finally, just to agree again, I think with Senator Power, I think it was Senator Power or Senator Wilson that uh, mentioned in relation to the uh, the second home property tax having to be paid in full for this year even though we're only going to, uh, we're going to bring in the new property tax in, in July. I think it is unfair. I think um, that mo most certainly there should be a way of dealing with it. If the 200 has to be paid for some reason, or other, I think what should be done, Minister, is that, uh, that the property tax should be less 100 euros uh, applicable to the person. Senator Riley. And it should be the revenue that we deal with that.